Hello again, this is your host Pearlstream. I resumed Let's Play of Gigantic Jewel Lost because ah, Slayers. Hello there, friend. Would you help me by opening this door? It's a Slayer. I don't trust your kind. Fear not. I have abandoned the ways of the Slayer. I am no longer a threat to my Delver friends. I'm just an old man who needs a hand. No, you have a cr well, uh, this maneuver I've seen before. He does kind of have a cane. But I don't trust him. I don't trust red people. They're all... What is this? See, this is not a good omen. We've got a mirror here that's like... being looked at by crazy <laughs> zombified omplic things. And a bunch of skulls. I don't feel safe. I don't... Uh-oh. And see, this is what I was afraid of. He's gonna kill me. I knew it! Oh god. Uh, lots of trapdoors, something that opens up these two umplic cages. Wait <sighs> and an X Slayer that will be along shortly. Now how's this supposed to work? These are toggle doors. And how is that even remotely okay, hold on. So I'm guessing the slayer has to hit those. So I guess I could find a way to make that happen. Slaying time. Uh, I guess. Actually, I might have to get him to turn around or something. Go ahead. Yeah, can you... Actually, I'll go here. Can you... I, either way, just... Wait. Am I... How much... Oh. Hold on. Even if I get them here, and I get in here before they're here... They're just going to step off the second I go from here to here, and uh, that means I won't be able to kill the brains, because that's going to happen. They're just going to close. And I can't get the Slayer to kill the brains, because I can't actually step on here until the Omplics are in position, so they won't ever get into a position where he'd want to kill the brains. So what does that leave? <clears throat> Paralyzing the Omplex somehow? Wait a minute. You know, I know that I've I think I think I've seen I think I've seen soldiers be able to do it. But does a hook count as a sword? It doesn't look like a sword, but it kind of behaves like a sword in the fact that it stabs me a lot. Yeah, it hurts a lot. Would something like this a Time. Hold on, so... Ah, there you are. Ah, oh no, I did that wrong. So, I see his, this one's laser beam comes across like that square right there. Time. So this could... Well, son of a gun. Look at that. He's not on the right spot, but, I mean, the idea is kind of there, isn't it? Wow. Well, this is what I like about Zitch, Zach, Zach, Zoke, and Galler, is, uh, they teach me things about this game that I did not even consider, like the fact that, uh, Slayers apparently can paralyze Omplex. That is a cool trick right there. Uh, I need to, I need to do it earlier, but, uh, that is still phenomenal that that is even possible. So, I am so is this good here? Perfect. Wow, that's good. Kind of random guess of timing. Um, huh. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Uh... I'm just gonna skedaddle over here. Oops. Um. And that worked like a charm. Okay, now I gotta figure out a way to do it again. It shouldn't be too bad, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna, since I hit that checkpoint there, I'm gonna see what so goes right beneath that X. Uh, I'm gonna 
kind of set that up. That means his body will have to be here, like have to be here when that happens. So uh, let's get that working out. No, I don't like how I made that happen. Okay. Where did I say his body need to be? Like right there. That should work. Right? I like it. Okay. Well, this guy only needs to move a little tiny bit, so let's see. Oh, I did it a little early. Damn it. Um, do, let's do it better this time. Let's try it. Uh, here. Oh, uh, I should have really cleared out that particular node, shouldn't I have? Uh, I, oh, see, this is why I'm glad I locked the room. I accidentally just smashed my uh, downward key, so body needs to be there. Uh, I'm going to... This isn't a good escape plan, by the way. In fact, it's really, really awful. Um, how did I do this? Like this? Something like that? No, I don't. I would really be okay with you not doing that. Wouldn't it just be easier if you. Hold on. Let's see if I can't make that happen somehow. Nope, he really, really hates me. Okay. Um, so all of this is now wrong. Um, yeah, this should work actually. So here goes nothing. Step. Because yeah, he still has an escape route. Perfect. Okay, good. And now I believe the puzzle has been solved. Please follow me up this way. Yes, good. The hook will find me. The wisp will follow. Thank God it follows. And now the room is done. Excellent. That was fun, and I learned something. Oops. Oh god. Oops. This does not look as enjoyable. Uh, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Ugh. Even though that last one was actually really fun. Um. Wait there. I'll be along shortly. All right. So what needs to happen here? I'm going to lose my sword in here, so I'm going to need to. I'll not be able to block. So I probably have to set up a path. For the Slayer to go like around and through this little region um, to block all of the uh, Omplex beams as much as human possible. So let's see if I can't make that happen somehow. So he needs to go up and then he will. Make a turn, a turn thingy here, and go down. Kind of like this. Uh, and then he'll go across the bottom, like, uh, like so. How am I going to do that? I don't know. Uh, no, he'll prefer to go, yeah, that's not what I wanted. Anyway, I've run out of time, you kind of see the idea I'm trying to pull off here. I'm, I'm trying to make him cross this path a bunch so that when he travels through to get me, I uh, can walk through with my sword. But I've run out of time! So this has been your host, Pearls. 
gigantic jewel lost see you all in my next episode bye bye